Good afternoon and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe, please like and please comment. Uh, everything helps. Anyway, today we're, we're at the Costa Almeria. The coast of Almeria, southern Spain. It's a bit windy, so we're going to take a look around and try and show you the sights. Sorry for the noise of the wind, but it's uh, really windy here at the moment. Today I'll be looking at an 18th century castle and also um, probably go down to the beach and I'll be walking along the beach today. It's very strange today because um, I've, lived, I've lived right near this castle for about 18 years but I've never actually been in it and uh, today anyway I'm going to go in and show you all around it. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's brilliant to me. Let's see. Let's go. The castle is called Castillo de Guardias Viejas. Um, it's a castle located in the town of Los Banos de Guardias Viejas, uh, within the municipality of El Ejido in Almeria province. Um, in the autonomous community of Andalusia, Spain, it's a battery-built castle. Uh, which was built in 1769 near the rocky surface uh, low rise of the Mediterranean Sea uh, brilliant brilliant views across the sea so any invaders um, would be would be definitely attacked um, from this this height and uh, it's a it's got brilliant views now at the moment it's owned by the regional government of Andalusia um, the municipality has carried out renovation work in the building which houses a permanent exhibition of clothes, uh, weapons of the uh, Napoleonic era. It was restored in 1980 and in 1985 it was declared a Bien de Interés Cultural Monument. The castle is one of five forts in the town next to the Moorish Tower Hill, the Square Tower, Tower of the Netherlands and the Tower of Belerma. It's also been a venue for musical events such as the Natural Music Festival and the Festival Creamfields Andalusia, which I believe um, the Pet Shop Boys went to that one. Um, anyway, it was built in the 18th century, partially destroyed in the 19th century during the Spanish War of Independence. And reconstructed in that century in 1817. The main aim of the castle was to protect Guardias Viejas course with grazing fire towards the east and to fight artillerymen fire from Belerma Tower towards the west. It's an artillery garrison and was assigned the function of patrolling the coastal area from the Punta del Sabina until Balanegra. Um, it was restored in 1980 and declared uh, the well of cultural interest, which I've already said, in 1985. Now it houses a teaching museum with a permanent exhibition of clothes and weapons. We're just looking at the moment in one of the jails, um, I think. It looks like a jail to me because it's, uh, <laughs> it's, got, it's got the metal door there. And we're just walking through here and just looking through one of the, the spy halls. The uh, quadrangular building was found inside a courtyard with infantry and cavalry barracks, stables, and a comp and gunpowder store and a chapel. The architecture inside is brilliant. They've really, they've really done well um, restoring it. Now today it was very quiet. Um, the guy was telling me that because of COVID, obviously, um, you know, it's the the numbers are down. 
from what what there were in the passport. It's a brilliant place. I mean, if anybody gets the chance to go there, I'd go there. Now this is where the weapons are. Some naughty little muskets. Um, quite interesting. Little shooters. <laughs> museum is free and it's, uh, it's just quite interesting it's it's good for it's good to spend about an hour here and have a look around not only that look around the area because um, there's lots to see there's lots of nature about I just, I know it sounds silly, but it, it just, I drive past it every other day and um, I never really thought of popping in. I, I've been past it on a night and I, I've took photographs on a night. Um, it's a, it's a castle that's lit up in the, in the skyline through the night and um, most of the coast, you can see it. Um, shining brightly with the, with the lights to leave on on the night. Here are some models of uh, of this castle and other towers that protected the coastline. Um, during the uh, the 18th century yeah it looks brilliant that mm, very interesting right we're just going to go up the stairs and we're just going to just have a take a look penthouse oh, we go. Yeah. left or right left this guy's brilliant when we turn around here if you just notice um, up in the distance there that's the, uh, the Sierra de Gado very lucky where we are where we live because we've got the, the sea in front of us and we have the mountains uh, behind us. I've always said that if you ever get lost as long as you've got the mountains behind you and the sea in front of you then uh, you'll be fine. You'll have no problems. The weather today it's a bit cloudy um, but I mean it's, it's 21 centigrade it uh, feels warm enough to, um, to wear a t-shirt and shorts even though you've got the wind uh, but it's, uh, it's a cracking day, Lo lovely Sunday anyway. I'll just have a look around here, another walk around here. So I think I think this garrison housed about, about 100 men, uh, like I say, with, uh, with weapons and the cavalry. Uh, the building I came past when I came in, that was the, uh, that was the stables and where they, where they housed the cavalry. Soldiers. Yeah, we're really lucky here for the weather. Um, I mean, it's March now, but it's, it's just getting that, that feel again. Um, usually, when it gets to Easter, Easter next month, that's when the weather finally breaks, and then we've got to run up to the summer. Um, but I mean, it's great. It's a great day. You know, just to, have a stroll, but I'm really enjoying the walk today. And uh, 
definitely enjoying this. I mean, it might be boring to other people, but but for me, it's it's good. I like it. And the guy that's the, I don't know if he's a security guard or whether he's somebody that would have given me out my information, but um, he was smashing. He said, "Yeah, just have a walk around. There's nobody in. Just uh, use the video if you want." He said, "Relaxed." And just gonna have a walk around the castle. There's actually a um, like a pillar box around the side of here. Well, this is a recognised walk along the coast. Um, you can walk right up the coast along the uh, the seashore. And then if you go in this direction to the right. Towards Malaga, you'll come to Palermo. Yeah, there's the, there's the where the cavalry. Uh, I think I think they're reforming there again. I think they're, they're doing that up again. It would be a brilliant little cafe there if they could. Again, I've always drove past it, but I've never looked, I've never looked in it. I've just seen it there. Some of them I've always wanted to have a look at. But uh, today, with me walking, it's a good opportunity to do it. You can see the land's very dry because it's, oh, it's quite hot here. I've got 300 and odd years, 300 and odd years, 300 and odd years of sunshine. Um, it doesn't really rain very much. Does rain it to be on a Tuesday? <laughs> Which Tuesday? I don't know. Um, I think this year I've seen about two days, two Tuesdays with rain, and there that's that's the road that takes you up to uh, to Berlin and Ballinetta, and that's where they had the uh, the Cream Fields concert there. Uh, as I say, it looks very dry, but it's very interesting. Just gonna have a look at a few of the things around here. I'm not too sure if, they, if they'd use this, if this had been built at the same time as the, uh, the castle or afterwards. But, uh, never, nevertheless, it's quite interesting. There we go. We probably have uh, cannons or uh, guns or. Maybe there's people in the comments could tell me. There we go. If you see these houses down, down right next to the beach. Um, the problem with this part of the coastline is that it's eating away at the coastline a lot every year, uh, and it's getting closer and closer to the houses. Now these houses, uh, I know in 2004 when I came, uh, 2005, sorry, uh, when, when I came to here. I know that uh, there was at least one house there that was up for sale. I think he was wanting over a million for it, but, it, but it's location, location, because you're right next to the beach. I don't think I'd pay that much for a, for a, for a house right next to the sea. And then, uh, obviously now it's, it's eating away at the, at the land. And they're always, the council here are always trying to protect it. Fences up uh, further up the Lerma, it's lost a lot of its beach. Uh, and that's, that's towards Malaga. Uh, I want to go right round the coast. And now we're going to go next to the sea. This guy was looking for a moment, wondering what he's doing with the camera. Uh, 
of people it's very busy all this path course it all comes alive in the June till uh, till the second week in September it goes quite a I quite, quite like walking past here. Uh, I like looking at the little fishermen's boats. And leaving there. Well, I think I think with some of them, um, you know, maybe just for leisure, but uh, with those boats here, and then you can walk right round the coast, right up to Palermo, where they have all the cafes and the shop, and it's a small little village. Yeah, the water looks really lovely. As I say, that it's about 21 centigrade. Um, it is a little bit cloudy, but not much cloud is it? <laughs> Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the, the video. Uh, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Um, it's so important to keep, to keep the channel going. And uh, hopefully, I'll get out again for another walk during the week or next week and uh, show you somewhere different. Hopefully. Great Sunday and hasta la vista. See you again. Bye.